Hey guys, it's me, 80 from Rock Before. So today, I want to talk to you guys about PSG, guys. So Paris Saint-Germain, of course, as we all know, guys, they've just been eliminated from the Champions League by Bayern Munich. And now we're looking at this summer as a big summer. This is a huge summer for PSG. I imagine there's going to be a lot of changes going to happen to this club because there's a lot to discuss with this club. Where do they go from here? And, you know, a lot of the good stuff. So like I said, if you're new out here, consider the like button, hit the subscribe button as well as we discuss about what PSG need to do to fix themselves, right? So first and foremost, I think the first thing they need to do is they got to sell someone from the trio. Because let's be real, guys. This trio has not worked. It's been a failure. This trio has not been great in the Champions League. It's not been good. And I think we're starting to see that this trio is just not cohesive or compatible compared to MSN. And you can see that even though two of the players are the same from that MSN team to Eminem, the key difference is that Mbappe is not a true striker. Mbappe is an inside forward. He likes to cut inside. He likes to use his pace. You know, he's not a poacher. You know, that's not Mbappe's best attributes. And look at Luis Suarez in particular, who was known for his goal scoring. Obviously, he had pace. I'm not saying he didn't. But his primary attribute was goal scoring. And that's the difference between Mbappe and Suarez, as that Suarez was more of a striker, whereas Mbappe isn't really a striker. Another thing to note is that this trio doesn't have much chemistry, all three of them together. Neymar and Messi obviously has chemistry. Mbappe and Neymar has chemistry. Does Mbappe and Messi really have chemistry? I don't think so. And you can start to see the tension in the dressing room. And I feel as though that the chemistry itself is very important. Okay. So what PSG need to do this summer is you have to sell at least one player of the front three. Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe. And if I'm PSG, this is what I would do. I would personally let Neymar go. I think Neymar is the most expendable of the three. And I feel like you can get a lot of value for Neymar. Whereas Messi, you're not going to really get that much. And you have to keep Mbappe. You have to keep Mbappe simply from a PSG point of view. Now, if you're Mbappe, you're looking at this that, um, yeah, it, it's looking tough, rough. Because if I'm Mbappe, I'm thinking to myself, should I really stay at this club? Should I really stay? But the thing is, from like I said, from a PSG point of view, they have to keep Mbappe because he's one of their most recognizable players and one of their big name players. He, you know, he's Parisian as well. You have to keep him. You know, there's no other way to put it. Whereas with Neymar, you can tell the guy is just mentally checked out. The guy just doesn't have that, or just doesn't have that drive, initiative for football anymore. And you can tell this guy is just is just going through the pain. He's just going through the um, the the toughness. The um, emotional damage of losing the uh, World Cup game to Croatia. And for Messi in particular, the issue is that Messi just doesn't have the initiative or the support. And there's a lot of talks over his renewal, whether he's going to renew with um, PSG or not. Um, you know, is he going to join Barcelona potentially? There's been a lot of rumors of that. Maybe you should also address that. And another thing that PSG need to do is they have to play as a team. Because, like I said, guys, to win these kind of Champions League, you can't, you just don't have the best named players. You have to ha play well as a team. That's a very, very important thing. And as well as the fact the manager needs to have some um, control. I feel like PSG is just a holiday camp. They're just spend around, just have fun. You know, there's no like proper structure. And that's very, very t terrible for a football club. A football club shouldn't be, um, it should be, there should be some order. There should be parity. There should be a structure there. It shouldn't be like, oh, just vibes, you know. And I think PSG have to address that over the summer that, hey, are we going to actually take this seriously? Because if they want to take this seriously, you can't just keep splashing the cash and expect it, oh, it will fix itself, you know, splash the cash. Because cash is not going to work. You need to have a proper team and you need to have the right players. And you need to have the right manager. Is Galtier really the right manager? I mean, I think, he, I don't know, honestly, guys. I don't know if Galtier is really that great of a coach, to be quite honest with you guys. He's good in League One. There's no doubt about it. PSG have significantly better in League One than under Pochettino. But in the Champions League, they haven't really been much better. It's been around the same as Pochettino. Maybe you can argue slightly better, but I would say just about the same. And I think for me, the PSG's best opportunity for that Champions League was 2019-2020 season. And which they should have won that final. They had so many chances in the final. I'm looking at you, Neymar and Mbappe. Both of you guys should have scored those chances in the final. You know? And it's just the thing is with PSG is that they need to have a right team. They need to have some right players. They got to do rebuild this team because, like I said before, guys, they have to win the Champions League. 
because that's what PSG was built for. That's what this money, that's what the Qatari takeover was for, was to win the Champions. It wasn't to dominate League One. They were already going to dominate. They're, they're already that wasn't the main objective. Okay, the main objective was to win the Champions League because they have never won the Champions League before. And their goal wasn't even just to win one. They wanted to win multiple Champions League. They wanted to do the Galacticos, what Real Madrid did. And you look at the Real Madrid 2008 team, they hardly achieved anything in terms of Champions Leagues. And you can see how Real Madrid in the, in the latter couple of years, in 2014, 2011, 2014, they finally won their Champions League, La Decima, you know, and it took them several years. And for PSG, this thing has been going since 2012, I believe. They haven't, they've only reached one final in the last 10 years. That is crazy. Have they been knocked out of the round of 16, I believe, like, half of those times? It's embarrassment, you know, for PSG. This PSG project has failed. 100% has failed. And now it's going to come down to uh, Nasser Khalafi to decide what he's going to do with this club. Because this club, there needs to be, do something. They have to do a lot of investment this summer. They have to get a, they have to get a proper midfielders this summer. They need to get some defenders this summer. Uh, they need to get some better forwards as well. You know um, that can link up with Mbappe, and I think the big concern, as I said, is that what are they going to do with what are they going to do with this trio? Because in my opinion, they have to let some of these they have to let at least one of them to go this summer. And I think this summer there is a great chance that one of the trio is going to leave this summer. Let me know in the comments who do you think that tri person the trio is, because I can assure you that one of them is going to leave, and it's going to most likely be either Messi or Neymar. And I'm right now, I think it's more likely that Neymar leaves. I think it's more likely. I think PSG is willing to sell him. And I feel like what Messi is going to probably do is going to run down his contract because that will be his contract ex expires this summer, I believe. So for PSG, man, what are they going to do? Are they, what are they going to do? And I, I, I just think that what is next for this club? Because like I said before, guys, this was, in my opinion, the very last chance to win the Champions League. Because Namor, you can tell the guy, is, he's out for the season. Mbappe, he's in the form of his life. And for Messi, you could he's just coming off a World Cup win. So, the issue is that Messi just doesn't have the motivation nor the initiative to win the Champions League with PSG. I don't really feel he has that in the persona like character, like, let's do it, man. Let's win this Champions League. I mean, of course he's trying. I'm not saying he didn't try. But the, thing, the point being is that he put everything for the World Cup. He put everything and soul for that World Cup. That World Cup meant so much to him. Whereas this Champions League, he was like, okay, it's just vibes. You know, we're, 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 I'll try my best. But, you know, we'll see what happens, you know. And that's the thing with PSG is that they need to, they don't have players that are into, the, into this project. I feel like the only real player that's really invested into this is Mbappe. But the thing is with Mbappe is that he can't do this all on his own. He just simply can't. He needs a team around him, you know. And PSG, they have to get, they have to move on from these players. Like, I'm looking at Marquinhos in particular, who is there for the embarrassments. Verratti in particular, who is underperformed. And then you have other players like Kim Bembray that comes to mind. You have like other players like um, et cetera that I can think of on top of my head. And this just this PSG team, man, it's just not very well structured. It's not very well balanced. And they have a lot of rebuilding to do this summer. Because like I said before, guys, if we see this kind of PSG again, because like I said before, guys, PSG is not going to win the Champions League anytime soon with this kind of mentality and with this kind of way they're approaching the club. Because like I said before, guys, PSG isn't a serious football club. It's not. It's just vibes. It, it, put it this way. It's literally just vibes. You know, and um, like I said before, it's a, it's a huge, huge problematic mess. So anyways, I, I wanted to uh, make this video for you guys. I want to know what you guys think of the situation on PSG. What are we going to see of them? Is there gonna be, is this going to be a big summer for PSG? Because I certainly think it is. And as I said before in the, early in the video, I think one of the front three is going to be leaving the summer. Who is it going to be? I have no idea. I'm still sticking with Neymar as my main candidate. So, so, I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you made it this far, please hit that concern in the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment below your thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.